So one of the frustrations that came with iOS 17 was the fact that Siri could be interrupted while it's giving a response simply by you talking. In iOS 18, and frankly, this might be available in 17, but I don't recall seeing it, you can actually disable that from happening so you don't have this as a frustrating factor. Now, I've customized my home screen and put apps in the random places, but that came with me taking my settings off of my home screen. So what I'm going to do is tap Safari. Safari. And then I'm going to flick to the left once. Search. Page one of one. Adjustable. And if I double tap on the search, page one of one adjustable. Search, page one of V. Keyboard Enter. pops up and I type in settings. D, S, C, E, T, T. Top search result, settings, 51 items found. We will locate settings with one finger and tap on the screen with another. Settings, button. Settings. This now brings us to the settings screen and I want to locate General, but accessibility, button. Accessibility, directly past general. We'll double tap on that. Accessibility, heading. And then I'm going to use three fingers to flick up because the setting in the accessibility settings option is towards the bottom that we're looking for. Rows 9 to 27 of 33. There's a lot of accessibility settings in there. Let's tap towards the middle of the screen. Live captions, button. That is not what we're looking for, so I'm going to scroll my finger down. Personal vo vocal shortcut, accessories, keyboards, and Apple TV, AirPods, but rows 18 to 33 of 33. Accessibility short, assistive app, general, head, AirPods, Assi guided access, a perhaps, perhaps at Siri button. Siri button. And it's located under the general heading. We're going to double tap on Siri. Type to Siri, switch button, off. And type to Siri is currently off. However, we can locate an option in this screen. Prefer silent responses. Select it. Prefer sp Siri will use on to always listen for Siri or hey Siri when your iPhone is facing down or covered. Always listen for Siri. Listen for Siri. Listen for Siri. Require Siri for interruptions. Switch button off. And this is the checkbox that we're looking for. If you flick to the right, you'll hear. When this is on, you have to say Siri or hey Siri to interrupt a Siri response. Which means that. If we flick to the left. Require Siri for interruptions. Switch button off. Right now, with it off, when Siri is providing a response, we can simply interrupt by asking the next question, which has benefits, but it also has some complications. So if we turn this on. Off. When this is require Siri for interruptions, switch button off. Off. On. And I had to tap it a couple of times for it to switch to on. But now when Siri is talking to me, you have to say Siri or hey Siri in order to interrupt it. And this should prevent Siri from cutting itself off. Hope that helps. Hi guys, Stephen here. If you want more content like this, then all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to catch new episodes of Double Tap, you can do right here on YouTube every weekday from noon Eastern or on AMI-audio across Canada and, of course, in your favourite podcast app as well. Thanks for watching.